Animating can be difficult sometimes. For example, choosing a new style for your animations. Comment Bubble Body down below if you want me to keep this style of animation. The one thing that can be pretty difficult sometimes is that I do everything by myself. That means I'm the director, I'm the editor, and I'm the voice actor. Cut! That's not the script. We don't have a script. Yeah, there's a script. No, there's not. I'm the director, and I say yes! No, there is no script! Yes, I made a script for this video! I'm animating. You're fired. What? No, you can't fire me. Yes, I can. Cards, take them away. What? No, no. Ah. All of those were examples of the difficulties of animating. The first one of those I'm going to cover in this video is the voice acting. Voice acting can be so annoying sometimes. And I just forgot I made the screen too small. Uh, and no, it's not because I'm bad at voice acting. No, 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 no. It's because the microphone likes to catch everything but my voice. Like one time I was getting ready to put my beautiful man voice in one of my videos. You know those little holes on the side of the tablet? You know those holes. You know those holes. And my finger was rubbing up against the holes. So when I went to listen to the recording... It can be very annoying sometimes. Okay, enough wrecking my audio. <sighs> Animating is what makes the majority of my videos, but it can also be the hardest part of making my videos. Well, at least I'm not animating on paper anymore, though. And do I regret every animation that I've done on paper? Yes. The hardest part of animating isn't my character design or getting something to move from one side to the other. No, 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 no. It's making backgrounds and adding details to the backgrounds. One, it takes forever. Two, it's hard getting things moving when there's a background. Three, th th ah! Yes, it can be very difficult. When I make a background, it can be difficult to get something to move from one side to the other without a million problems. So I can have my background, and then the thing that I'm trying to move ends up being on the underside layer, meaning it's like he's trying to hide behind the background, which becomes very annoying and I have to start over. And then there are times where the character doesn't even look like he's supposed to be in the background. But backgrounds isn't the only thing that can be difficult. There's doing things that I haven't done before and trying to get things with more shading to move properly. But that's life. Even though animating is difficult, directing can be even harder. Directing can be one of the hardest things in terms of making videos. No, not directing as in yelling at myself to work. Get back to work! Why aren't you working? Ah! No, 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 no. I mean getting a good storyline to make good videos. Okay, what I mean is, let's say that I'm making a video about the reason that I like puppies. I'm not just going to say I like puppies because they're fluffy. No, I'm going to go in more depth and detail because I can make the video most funniest and more professional. And no, I'm not bad at grammar. It's grammar. What? It's grammar. I mean grammar. And now I want graham crackers. Thanks. Do we even have any graham crackers? No, we just, we just have puppies. And most animators will know what I mean. Just getting an idea for the next part of my videos can be difficult. Because it has to be funny, and then it also has to make sense. Like, it wouldn't make sense if Magician would have just barged in and said, Animal crackers!